Okay, folks, today is the 23rd of March, 2024. Uh, looking at another uh, unplanned project here that I picked up recently. Well, it's been, I don't know, probably a month ago now. It's a 1992 Ford Ranger. Uh, this one is an XLT. Um, really a cream puff. I don't, it hasn't had many owners. Uh, it's a rust-free Carolina truck, um, but it's two-wheel drive, and you can see it's sitting up pretty good. I just finished putting a four-inch Trailmaster uh, chassis lift or suspension lift, whatever you want to call it. It's it's not a body lift. I hate a body lift, but uh, it's turned out pretty good. Uh, the wheels and tires that are on it right now are... 15 by 7 with 235 75 by 15 tires um, these are just on here temporary these are <coughs> knobbies and they're they're a little bit loud for my taste i'm not going to leave them on here um, i just bought a brand new set of 31 by 1050s and i have some 8 inch bullet hole wheels uh, that i'm going to put on it instead i got to get that stuff cleaned up and mounted but it's turned out really good. Um, this particular truck is a little bit special because it happens to have the four liter V6 in it with a five speed. And it's just a regular cab. Um, it's the only one that I've ever seen that was equipped this way. Um, now I don't know how many of them that they did make like that, but just not something you see every day trucks in really good condition as you can see the seats are nice complimentary whorehouse red everybody needs that in their life and since it has the four liter this truck also has the 8.8 .8 differential in it um that's another thing on my, my list. I'm gonna put a 410 gear uh, with a posi unit in this truck. Um, right now it's got an open differential with a 308 gear. A um, little bit too tall for these big tires. But really pleased with how it turned out. Go underneath and get a shot of this suspension. A friend of mine happened to have this lift kit, brand new in the box, just laying around. He purchased it decades ago for a truck that he had and ended up never using it, and he gave it to me. Um, I don't think you can even still buy these lift beams for these trucks anymore. I shopped around, and I couldn't find any, but... Uh, like I said, this truck is a 92 model, and these beams were designed for the 88 and earlier model trucks. They had a different ball joint arrangement, and so I ended up having to go to the junkyard and locate an earlier style set of spindles so that I could use these beams. Um, but it worked out. It was a lot of damn work. I just got finished mounting the sway bar, had to make some brackets to weld to the aftermarket beams because they, they wouldn't support the factory bracket um, because of the way they were made. Um, this truck actually did not come with a sway bar on it. Uh, I got the sway bar off of a part of a, you know, a junk truck in the junkyard. So it should drive a lot better. I'm getting ready to take it for a test drive. Got plenty of ground clearance now though. Here's another project I also picked up recently. It's a 2013 Expedition. It's got a 5.4 in it with rocker arm noise. Um, 
I haven't touched it yet. It'll be next. Really a nice truck, though. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.